believe that teacher. I don't believe she's going to give me an exam. I don't believe she's going to give me a test. In fact, I don't believe in teachers and professors. My name's Mark Johnson. I'm a full-time missionary to college campuses and to the other places where a lot of people gather. And uh, this is my day job. Well, I knew that uh, in the scripture it has guys' gifts that God gives the church. One of them's pastor, one's evangelist, and I know that God called me to be an evangelist. And uh, one of my cousins, come to know the Lord Jesus Christ at the University of Maryland because there was a man in the early 80s there who preached on campus every day and he used to listen to him. And we worked together, me and my cousin worked together at the job and he used to talk about this guy. That kind of put the spark in me to that uh, college campus. And have I been ordained and went to seminary and all that? Yes. You know, does that mean you have to do that to be a preacher? <laughs> you better be spending some time with Jesus and staying in his word. These finals are nothing. You should just let Jesus take the wheel and take your exam for you. But then I re remembered the exam I was going to was polymers. Polymers were only created a couple, not too long ago. Jesus was not around for these. How would Jesus take the wheel on this? I tried letting it. didn't happen. At this age, they're making their a lot of choices of the way they're going to live their life and it seems like not I mean your circumstances will change you'll get out of college get married have a job but usually you're pretty locked into what you believe after about 25 years old mm -hmm. now, see I walked 22 years without the Lord mm -hmm. and I know what that's like so I've been where college students are who don't know the Lord yeah. Some days I know I go home and I said the wrong things and didn't have the right attitude. Uh, doubts about whether the gospel should be preached? No, I don't doubt that. Doubts about whether uh, in myself? Sometimes, you know. But not as much as I used to. I used to get really anxious and nervous speaking now not so much if I define success as obeying the Lord so am I successful not in man's eyes but in God's eyes I believe I am because he says to go in all the world and preach the gospel and he is uh, he is saving those who will believe 